Hey, I'm Calvin Mitchell with Bluegrass International in London, Kentucky. And today we're going to be doing an actual walkthrough of the new electric vehicle bus charger. Uh, we're going to get into how the, how the charging system actually works. So if you'll just come with me, we'll start here. If you're going to get inside this box, you need to always make sure the power is off. Remove the lock. Put the lockout tag out device on. Lock it out. Put the key in your pocket so nobody can come behind you and turn the power on. And we come around here. We unlock the actual charging station itself. And here's how this actually works. You've got 480 volts line voltage coming in here, line one, two, and three. Then you've got the output voltage that goes over to each one of these breakers, which has a latch here. And if you have any problem with your breakers staying in, it's because the latch part of this is broken. It's not a major thing to fix. You just have to know how it works. Then the output voltage comes over here to a built-in surge suppressor. If you get too much voltage on this surge suppressor, it comes out this cable right here, goes directly back to ground so nobody can get shocked or the vehicle won't receive any excess voltage. When the power comes out of this, it goes through three forward base gated diodes which changes it from AC to DC. Then your DC voltage goes through a regulator. This is a fuse. As you can see, or this is the diode. As you can see, it's a forward base gated diode. This is a fuse. <laughs> when, the, when the unit is energized, this, this will come on and this is how you set your charge time, your charge rate and everything else. This is your control box, which actually lights up your control panel. Now there's a couple ways you can do this. This one is set up for a card to actually turn the panel on. We're not going to use the card in our, in our application because it's been found that the card causes a lot of, of problems within the unit. But here's how you do it. Step one, remove the charging cord, plug it into the vehicle, the bus, plug it in the bus. Or it could be an electric truck, but, we, we, truck. But, but we're doing a lot of buses right now. Yeah, yeah, we're, uh, yeah, we're set up for the, for the buses. Step two, you take your card, which will turn this on. Step three, you push start. Step four, it will start charging the battery. The screen will tell you when the battery is fully charged. You hit stop. You remove the nozzle from the vehicle, and the reason you hit stop first is because you're putting DC voltage into the vehicle. And if you unplug it while it's in the charging state, it will cause a big arc, and that's dangerous. Don't want nobody to get hurt. Safety first. Put that back in. You're done. Your bus should be charged, fully charged. And that's about all I got on that. Is there, is there any, uh, have we done some buses on like some charging times? Do we know like roughly? Like how long, like if a bus comes in and it's pretty, like pretty much discharged, how long to charge it back up? Based well, on like what this can output, do we know? Well, that's a question I cannot answer. Okay, I didn't know if we had, that he like, had seen some real world stuff yet. Uh, and strictly because this is, this is the kind of stuff that I know about. Right, right, right. I don't know about the charge rate. Right, I you, have to know, know you have to know, you have to know the size of the battery. Everyone wants a different size yeah. battery bank and all that kind yeah. of stuff. Yep. All right. Well, hey, introduce yourself again and, 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 uh, and just who you are and who you're with. And I'm Calvin Mitchell, and I'm with Bluegrass International at the London office.